This video is brought to you by CAPE, the one source app to the world of mixed martial arts. Follow the link below to cape.tv with a K to sign up for updates and a chance to win a walk-on role in the next installment of the Kickboxer movie franchise. In the ultra-competitive and highly intense environment that is the world of sports, sometimes tempers reach a boiling point. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the Top 10 Sports Meltdowns. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking specifically at meltdowns that took place during gameplay, and including both players and coaches. We're excluding press conferences, however, because we already have a list on that very topic. It, it shouldn't be in the game, that stuff. I don't want it in the game. Uh, but I have to protect my team, too. Number 10, Earl Weaver. Not one more than I've lost, kid. Oh, no, you haven't, Earl. Games, kid, wow. games. Earl Weaver won over 1,400 games as the manager of the Baltimore Orioles between 1968 and 1986. Perhaps equally impressive, however, is the fact that he was ejected from nearly 100 games during that same time period. One of his most notorious outbursts came in 1980 in a game against the Tigers when Weaver went toe-to-toe -to -toe with umpire Bill Haller, who happened to be wearing a microphone. Weaver accused Haller of blatantly cheating the Orioles and even threatened to punch him square in the face. You do it again and I'll knock you right in your nose! I didn't touch you! Number 9, John Tortorella. Tortorella continues to berate Bob Hartley. He is furious. Famous for his profanity-filled tirades, Tortorella took things to another level when he attempted to fight Bob Hartley, the coach of the Calgary Flames, in the locker room during the first intermission of a game. Uh, John Tortorella has gone over to the Calgary Flames hallway outside their room. Tortorella was furious because he believed the Flames initiated a line brawl to start the game in an attempt to injure one of the Canucks players. Flames coaches and players looked on while Canuck players held him back. Needless to say, the NHL was not impressed with Tortorella's actions and suspended him for 15 days without pay. But cross a line? I'm not going to go there. Please, don't push me here. I'll answer your questions. I've, I've tried to be as honest as possible with that, but I'm not going to go into the other stuff. Number eight, Kyle Busch and Joey Logano. Any blows landed between the two of you? None to me. Can't we all just get along? Donnie Allison and Cale Yarbrough certainly didn't agree at the 1979 Daytona 500, and neither would Kyle Busch and Joey Logano, as the pair engaged in a full-on fistfight at the finish line of the Cobalt 400 in Las Vegas in 2017. Busch and Logano were fighting for third place on the final lap when Logano made contact with Busch's car, causing it to spin out. Logano would ultimately finish fourth, while Busch dropped to 22nd. Moments after finishing, Bush physically confronted Logano and his pit crew. Unfortunately, or perhaps fortunately for Bush, he walked away with the loss and a bloody forehead. But surprisingly, no penalties. That's how Joey races, so he's gonna get it. Number seven, Jurgen Klinsmann. I think a lot of things have been building up inside of me for months. Towards the end of his career, Klinsmann joined Bayern Munich and helped lead the team to the Bundesliga title during the 1996-97 season. He didn't always see eye to eye with manager Giovanni Trapattoni, however, and things boiled over during a game against Freiburg. Trapattoni removed Klinsmann from a tie game, much to the star striker's frustration. He let his coach and the world know he was unhappy when he launched an extremely forceful kick into an advertising pillar, leaving a pretty impressive hole in the side. Obviously, I'm slightly disappointed. Number six, Philip Wellman. It isn't often that managers of minor league baseball teams become household names. And to this day, you may pause for a second when you hear the name Philip Wellman. But mention the Mississippi Braves manager meltdown and almost every sports fan will know what you mean. Wellman gained international attention when he was ejected from a game in 2007. After having covered home plate in dirt, removed all of the bases, crawled across the field in a prone position, and tossed the rosin bag at an umpire. Over the top? Sure, but memorable all the same. Number five, the Boston Bruins go into MSG stands. Uh, the fans are now getting involved. If you came across this clip on television, you'd think it's a scene from Slapshot rather than from an actual NHL game. 
The 70s were a different time, however, and fantasy became reality on December 23, 1979, during a game between the Boston Bruins and the New York Rangers. What started as a skirmish between the players quickly escalated as fans began throwing things on the ice and reaching over the glass to punch Bruins players. Several players responded by going into the stands, including Mike Milbury, who wound up beating a fan with a shoe. I had to beat them to death with their own shoes. Number 4. Lou Pinella Throws Bass Who would have thought America's pastime could get people so angry? Despite earning the nickname Sweet Lou, Pinella was far from a sweetheart, proven by the fact that he was ejected 63 times during his managerial career. Arguably, his most famous ejection came during his best season as manager of the 1990 Cincinnati Reds, the eventual World Series champions. Pinella, furious about a call, picked up the base and launched it into the outfield. While this move has been seen again, it's never quite been done with the same force or anger as Pinella. Number 3. You cannot be serious. You can't be serious, man. To be honest, we could probably make an entire top 10 list of best John McEnroe meltdowns, considering how many he had. Answer my question! The question, jerk! This one, however, is one of his best. In a match against Tom Gullickson at Wimbledon, chair umpire Edward James ruled that a ball McEnroe had hit was out. McEnroe grew more and more enraged, although surprisingly kept it relatively PG. Still, his You Cannot Be Serious remains by far one of his greatest quotes of all time. You cannot be serious! That ball was on the line! Number 2. The Pine Tar Incident And the Yankees have won the ball game 4-3. to three. Red is called out for using an illegal bat. This game was legendary for all the wrong reasons. In a game against the New York Yankees in 1983, Kansas City Royal George Brett hit a two-run homer in the ninth inning to give his team the lead. The umpires took a closer look at Brett's bat, however, and ruled that there was too much pine tar on it, nullifying Brett's home run. Brett famously sprinted from the dugout following the call to confront the umpires. The Royals protested the game and it was actually upheld, and Brett's home run was restored and a game resumed a few weeks later. They might be going to call George Brett out. Well, the yeah. Yankees win. He's out. Yes, sir. Brett is out. Look at, look at this. Brett is out. And He's steaming mad. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Yes. And Rast just goes off right here where it falls down. Look out below, and he's not done either. A milk crate will come flying over the boards. Suspension possibly to foul. And Carlos Perez going after the equipment. Water cool. That's dangerous, actually. I mean, there, there are people yeah. somewhere nearby. Number one, the Pacers Pistons Brawl, also known as Malice at the Palace. Now our test has jumped over the scorer's table and is trying to get down to the bench. Test is in the stands. This is perhaps the most infamous brawl in the history of sports, and certainly the NBA. Things took a dark turn on one November night in 2004 at the Palace of Auburn Hills during a game between Indiana and Detroit. With less than a minute to go, a scuffle broke out between players on the court. Things appeared to be settling down until Pacers player Ron Artest was hit with a drink thrown by a fan in the stands. The fiery Artest then went into the crowd and ignited a huge fight. Following the incident, nine players were suspended for a total of 146 games, while the fan who threw the plastic cup and subsequently punched Artest was charged with assault and battery. This is a disgrace. This video is brought to you by CAPE, the one source app to the world of mixed martial arts, where you'll find unlimited news and information on your favorite fighters and organizations. You can even watch classic 